Yeah, we're the girls from Cool Close Cuisine. I'm Joanna. I'm Jackie. And I'm Kelly. And we're going to continue our series now on doing sweet and savory foods. We're still sticking with the pretzels, right? But now we're making them sweet. Right. Last time we did the savory version with that mustard dip. Yeah. That yogurt mustard dip, and now we're going to go into a thyme honey um, glaze. Yeah. So this is going to be a really dip. nice sweet. Yeah. Um, First thing we've got some butter. Yep. Then we're going to put in a medium saucepan or medium high heat, and we're going to melt it. Okay, and once we get it nice and melted, we're going to add what completely what's next. melted. So we've got, you need to do a tablespoon of that. I know. Okay. But a tablespoon won't fit in here. Ah. So well, this is our thyme honey. Yeah, from we, Greece. We get these from, you know, they, they are imported from Greece. 776 mm -hmm. is the company that does import them. We love their honey. They make oh, amazing honey. Did you just say that they have it at Whole Foods? Yes. Yep, wow. we found it at Whole Foods. That is amazing. Yeah. Mastic honey is one of our favorite. Do they carry honeys. the mastic also? Yep. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I'm in love now. We found it there. Fantastic. Their products are exceptional. So, a tablespoon? A little bit more. Okay. okay. That's going to get nice and melted in there with the butter. Okay. So, then after the honey, we're going to add in. Jackie, you can use the same spoon to scoop out the maple syrup. Yeah. And then stir that in, and it'll melt right in the pot. Save me from washing more. Yeah. So now we've got some maple syrup that we're adding. We would love to have a cooking show on, on cable TV or something. We can get somebody to do all of our prepping and Wouldn't cleaning nice? up afterwards, Wouldn't right? That be nice? I would love that. So now you've got to stir it over the heat and bring it to a rolling boil. So just stay with it. You don't want to walk away from no, this because it really can burn. It's going to go quickly. Yeah, so now it's, this is coming to a rolling boil here. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you could see that. That's what that looks like, a rolling boil. Now we can turn off the and heat. And we want to turn the heat off because now we're going to add some mastic liqueur. And mastic um, is a flavoring that comes from mastica from the mastic tree in Chios, and it's the only place where this tree grows in Greece. Um, and they've made it into a liqueur, which adds lovely flavoring and to- And a fragrance. It's oh my gosh, it's fragrance. fantastic. That you can drink it just like that, or you can add it to sauces. Oh, I can smell it. Oh smell my gosh, and that's that same smell that you get from the mastic honey. Yeah, and now we're going to add our pretzels right into the saucepan. So, um, so we're going to add a little bit at a time. We're we want to like add them and stir them in and coat them completely. Right. Because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven and you're going to spread them out on a parchment lined baking sheet and you're going to bake them in the oven for about what ten minutes. Yeah. yeah. Until they're they're nicely glazed. So have some liquid left in there. You want to use up all that liquid, yeah. We don't want to waste any of this. Take some more. Oh, I might take all of them. I think it's going to take all of them. So it's about a cut, right? Yeah. It's just the right amount. So, Jay, yeah. can you bring over the cookie sheet? Watch over here, it's got sticky, so you don't want to put that there. So, let's put that there. So, now we're going to just add these onto our cookie sheet in a single layer. You want to spread them out so they have less chance of sticking to each other. We're already sticking. Yep. And then we're going to pop these in the oven. Mm. I 
And if they stick together, it's okay. You can Once they cool, you can break them apart. They also will bake better if they're not all stuck together. Yeah. So these guys. These over here. All right, I think that'll work. Okay. Beautiful. Great. Okay. So that's going to go in the oven, and we're going to check back in, in a few minutes, and you'll see the glazed pretzels coming right out of the oven. Yeah. Here they are, hot out of the oven. You can see they're nicely glazed, and you're going to let these cool down now for about 10 minutes. And if there, any of them are stuck together, you can break them apart and put them in a bowl and serve them up. Galeotic sink. Galeotic sink.